LibreOffice the 4th of August 25 is one of those releases that at first glance might look like just another update, but once you spend some real time with it, you start to realize how much quiet work has gone into refining the entire office suite. This version is not about flashy redesigns or radical changes that force you to relearn everything. Instead, it focuses on polish, consistency, performance, and the kinds of improvements that only become obvious after you actually use LibreOffice for real work. Whether you are a student, a professional, a content creator, or someone who just needs a reliable office suite without subscriptions, LibreOffice 25.8. 4 is designed to feel more mature, more stable, and more trustworthy than ever before. One of the first things you notice when launching LibreOffice 25.8 for is how responsive the suite feels. Startup times are slightly improved across Writer, Calc, Impress, and Draw, especially on systems with slower storage or limited resources. The developers have continued optimizing initialization routines, cutting down unnecessary background checks, and improving how extensions and fonts are loaded. This might not sound exciting, but when you open LibreOffice multiple times a day, those saved seconds add up and make the whole experience feel smoother and less frustrating. Writer LibreOffice's word processor benefits significantly from subtle but important improvements in this release. Text rendering has been refined, particularly when working with complex documents that include mixed fonts, different scripts, or right-to-left languages. Cursor movement and text selection feel more accurate in long documents, especially when tracked changes are enabled. Speaking of tracked changes, LibreOffice 25.8 4 improves how comments and revisions are displayed, making collaborative editing easier to follow. Changes are more clearly distinguished, and comment navigation is more predictable, which is extremely helpful when reviewing long reports, academic papers, or legal documents. Another major focus in Writer is compatibility with Microsoft Word documents. LibreOffice has always aimed for strong DOCX compatibility in 25.8. For continues that effort, documents with complex tables, floating images, text boxes, and custom styles import more accurately, reducing the need for manual fixes. Exporting to Docs has also been refined, so when you send a document to someone using Microsoft Office, the formatting is more likely to stay intact. This is especially important for users who work in mixed environments where LibreOffice and Microsoft Office coexist. Styles and formatting, a core strength of writer, feel more consistent in this version. Applying paragraph and character styles is more predictable, and the styles sidebar responds faster when switching between different parts of a document. There are also small usability improvements that reduce accidental formatting changes, something that longtime LibreOffice users will appreciate. These changes help reinforce the idea that Writer is not just a free alternative, but a professional-grade word processor capable of handling serious writing tasks. Calc LibreOffice's spreadsheet application sees meaningful improvements in performance and accuracy. Large spreadsheets with thousands of rows and complex formulas recalculate more efficiently, and memory usage has been optimized to prevent slowdowns during extended sessions. If you work with financial models, data analysis, or large data sets, you will notice that scrolling, filtering, and editing cells feels more fluid. Even basic actions like copying and pasting large ranges are handled more smoothly. Formula accuracy and compatibility are another highlight in Calc 25.84. The developers have fixed several edge case calculation issues and improved compatibility with Excel formulas. Functions that previously produced slightly different results compared to Excel have been adjusted where possible, making cross-application collaboration more reliable. Pivot tables also receive attention, with better handling of data refreshes and improved stability when source data changes. These improvements might not be obvious at first, but they make Calc a more dependable tool for everyday data work. Charts and data visualization in Calc have been subtly refined as well. Rendering performance is improved, and charts update more reliably when underlying data changes. Editing chart elements feels more responsive, and exporting spreadsheets with embedded charts to other formats preserves visual fidelity more accurately. If you regularly present data or share spreadsheets with visual elements, these refinements contribute to a more professional final result. Impress LibreOffice's presentation tool continues to mature in LibreOffice 25.84. Slide rendering and transitions are smoother, particularly on systems without high-end graphics hardware. This is important for users who present on laptops or older machines where performance issues can be distracting. Editing slides with many images, shapes, and text boxes feels more responsive, and the application is less likely to stutter during live presentations. Compatibility with PowerPoint files is another area where Impress sees incremental gains. Importing PPTX files with complex animations, layered objects, or custom layouts works more reliably, reducing layout issues that used to require manual adjustments. Exporting presentations to PPTX has also been refined, helping ensure that animations, fonts, and slide layouts appear as intended when opened in Microsoft PowerPoint. This makes Impress a more viable choice for professional presentations in mixed office environments. Presenter Console, a favorite feature among LibreOffice Impress users, 
benefits from stability and usability improvements in this release. The presenter view is more reliable across different display configurations, including high-resolution monitors and multi-screen setups. Notes display correctly more often, and switching between slides feels smoother, which reduces the risk of technical hiccups during important presentations. Draw LibreOffice's vector graphics and diagramming tool often flies under the radar, but LibreOffice 25.8.4 includes improvements that make it more enjoyable to use. Editing complex drawings with multiple layers is more responsive, and object selection is more accurate, especially when working at high zoom levels. Importing and exporting SVG files has been refined, improving compatibility with other design tools and web work. Math the Formula Editor also sees subtle improvements in usability and rendering. Editing mathematical expressions feels more predictable, and exported formulas integrate better into writer and impress documents. For students, teachers, and researchers who rely on math for equations and scientific notation, these small improvements make a noticeable difference in daily use. One of the most important aspects of LibreOffice 25.8.4 is overall stability. This release includes numerous bug fixes across all components, addressing crashes, rendering issues, and unexpected behavior reported by the community. While bug fixes rarely get headlines, they are crucial for building trust in the software. LibreOffice has a massive user base with diverse use cases, and each stability improvement helps ensure that the suite can be relied upon for critical work. User interface consistency is another area of focus. Icons, dialogues, and menus have been refined to feel more cohesive across different operating systems. Whether you are using LibreOffice on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, the experience feels more unified. This includes better scaling on high DPI displays, clearer icons, and improved spacing in dialogues. These changes might seem cosmetic, but they reduce visual clutter and make the software feel more modern and approachable. Accessibility continues to be a priority in LibreOffice 25.8. 4. Screen reader compatibility has been improved, and keyboard navigation across menus and dialogues is more consistent. High contrast themes work more reliably, and focus indicators are clearer. These improvements help ensure that LibreOffice remains usable for people with different accessibility needs, reinforcing its commitment to inclusive software. Performance improvements extend beyond just speed. LibreOffice 25.8. 4 uses system resources more efficiently, particularly when working with multiple documents at once. Memory leaks and excessive CPU usage reported in previous versions have been addressed, resulting in a more stable experience during long work sessions. This is especially beneficial for users on older hardware or resource-constrained systems, where LibreOffice continues to shine as a lightweight yet powerful office suite. File format support is another area where LibreOffice excels, and this release continues that tradition. Support for older document formats has been refined, making it easier to open and edit legacy files without formatting issues. At the same time, modern formats are handled more accurately, ensuring that LibreOffice remains a versatile tool for users dealing with a wide range of document types. Localization and language support have also been updated in LibreOffice 25.8.4. Translations from many languages have been improved, and language-specific features such as spell checking, hyphenation, and grammar suggestions are more accurate. This is particularly important for international users who rely on LibreOffice as their primary office suite. Security is an often overlooked aspect of Office software, but LibreOffice 25.8.4 includes important security fixes that protect users from potential vulnerabilities. Improvements in how macros are handled, better warnings for potentially unsafe content, and general hardening of file import mechanisms contribute to a safer experience. For users in professional environments, these security improvements are critical. Extensions and customization continue to be a strength of LibreOffice, and this release improves extension compatibility and stability. Extensions load more reliably, and conflicts with core features have been reduced. This allows power users to tailor LibreOffice to their specific workflows without worrying about instability after updates. One of the most compelling aspects of LibreOffice the 4th of August 25 is how it reflects the philosophy of the LibreOffice community, instead of chasing trends or forcing users into subscriptions. This release focuses on delivering a dependable, high-quality office suite that respects user freedom and privacy. There are no ads, no telemetry that invades your privacy, and no artificial limitations designed to push you toward paid upgrades. Everything in LibreOffice 25.8.4 is available to all users, completely free. For students, LibreOffice 25.8.4 offers a reliable platform for writing essays, managing data, and creating presentations without financial barriers. For professionals, it provides a powerful set of tools that can handle serious work without locking you into proprietary ecosystems. For organizations and governments, it represents a stable, open-source solution that can be audited, customized, and deployed at scale. The update process itself has been refined as well. Installing LibreOffice 25.8.4 is straightforward, and upgrades from previous versions are generally smooth. User settings, templates, and extensions are preserved, 
reducing friction when moving to the new release. This attention to the upgrade experience shows an understanding of real-world user needs. Another important aspect of LibreOffice 25.8.4 is how it prepares the ground for future development. While this release focuses on refinement, it also lays the foundation for more significant changes down the line. Code cleanups, internal refactoring, and performance optimization make it easier for developers to introduce new features and future versions without compromising stability. When you look at LibreOffice, the 4th of August 25 as a whole, it represents a mature stage in the project's evolution. It is no longer about proving that LibreOffice can compete with proprietary alternatives. Instead, it is about perfecting the experience, listening to user feedback, and steadily improving every aspect of the suite. This release may not have one single headline feature, but the cumulative effect of all its improvements is a noticeably better Office suite. For long-time LibreOffice users, 25.8. For feels familiar, yet refined. For new users, it offers a polished and approachable entry point into open-source productivity software. It demonstrates that free and open-source software can be stable, professional, and competitive without compromising on user freedom. In practical daily use, LibreOffice 25.8. For simply gets out of your way more effectively than before. Documents open faster, edits feel smoother, compatibility issues are reduced, and the interface feels more consistent. These are the kinds of improvements that you might not consciously notice at first, but once you get used to them, it becomes hard to go back to older versions. Ultimately, LibreOffice 25.8, 4 is about trust. Trust that your documents will open correctly. Trust that your formatting will stay intact. Trust that your data will be calculated accurately. Trust that your software will not suddenly change direction or business model. This release reinforces LibreOffice's reputation as a dependable, user-focused office suite that continues to improve year after year. If you are already using LibreOffice upgrading to 25.8, 4 is an easy recommendation. You get better performance, improved compatibility, increased stability, and countless small refinements that make everyday work more pleasant. If you are still relying on older versions or considering switching from another office suite, LibreOffice 25.8, 4 offers a strong, modern, an ethical alternative that is worth serious consideration.